Hello, my name's Ian, I'm part of the Baxi training team. And today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about recharging the air gap on your Megaflow unvented cylinder. Now, your cylinder comes with instructions on the front telling you how to recharge it. But what you might need to know is when to recharge it. And the reality of that is, it's gonna be when it's dripping outside through the safety pipe, or when it's dripping through a tongue disc, this little thing here. You might get a little bit of water dripping out of there. That indicates that the air pocket that sits inside this cylinder has been depleted, it's gone. And you're gonna to need to put it back. It's quite simple, you follow the instructions and that's what we're gonna do now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is isolate the water to my cylinder. Now this is typically found on the valve here and I've just turned it off. It might not look exactly like that, but they're all doing the same job. Then I'm gonna open the lowest hot tap. Now, the lowest hot tap is different depending on where you're living. If I'm living in a standard house, it's typically the kitchen tap downstairs. If I'm in a flat, doesn't matter what tap you're opening, it's the lowest one, maybe the bath, the one that's nearest the floor. Once I've opened my tap, it will run a you know, reasonable amount of water out and then it will stop. So the valve is off and the water has stopped coming out of my tap. So now I'm gonna to move to this valve here. This is the temperature and pressure relief valve and all I'm going to do is hold it and turn it very gently anti-clockwise and one of two things happens. Either like this one here, I get water coming out of my tongue dish, that's perfectly normal, nothing to worry about, or I get water out of my tap and I get a gurgling noise in here where the air is being sucked into the cylinder. That's exactly what I want because what I'm doing is replacing the air that's missing from my cylinder. Eventually the water will stop coming out of here or out of the hot tap and the gurgling noise will stop and that indicates that the job is done. I've replaced all the air that I need in the cylinder and I can move to my valve and turn on my water again. Now of course this means that my tap's going to start running. Be careful it might splutter a little bit right? so make sure you, you take care when you turn your tap off. You turn your tap off, you've replaced the air in the cylinder that's needed to run properly and your system should be back up and running as normal. If after completing that process you still have water dripping out of your tongue dish or perhaps dripping from a pipe outside, that may indicate you need the help of a competent installer.